hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk to you real quick about evil season three it is going to premiere june 12th 2022 i am happy about it and we are into season three okay if you have not watched this series you have time to catch up on it for start from season one and go to season two you have time to binge watch catch up and see what it's all about i think you'll like it I'm loving it. This is right up my alley, okay? And those of you that know me know this is up my alley. Now, the series focuses on a skeptical female named Kristen. Um, she's a psychologist who joins a priest in training and a contractor as they investigate the church's backlog of unexplained mysteries, including supposed to be miracles, demonic possessions, and hauntings. Now, their job is to assess if there is a logical explanation or if something truly supernatural is at work okay so, that, so that's basically what the season the series is about okay now season three of evil begins moments after the end of season two when a newly ordained david and Kristen share the kiss if you like i said if you're a fan of the show and you watch that when they kiss i was like oh my god what <laughs> what i knew that was about to happen i was excited about that but in season three the two not only have to navigate this fraught new reality but contend with david's involvement with the entity it's like so much is going on it's just so much going on and it's always these things always are the catholic church is always like a base for this like what's really good catholic church you know because it seems like anything with demonic possessions or su supernatural stuff the catholic church is always involved and let me just tell you about the catholic church i've been in a few and those churches to me are very scary i don't like to walk in a catholic church it just looks really scary to me i'm just saying i don't know of anyone else out there feel the same way i do but to me it is scary so you know meanwhile ben finds his brain um breaking from the unsolved cases and turns to his sister for help so now ben is gonna like ask his sister for help about some of these cases that he's trying to like really wreck his brain to get through so i'm i'm excited about season three i really am this is going to be and when i was watching the trailer i was like what is going on because it seems like Kristen goes into the bathroom and blood is in the toilet and it's overflowing and then they show Kristen and david the adorn the, uh, the ordained priest david in the bed together and her tongue when she licks his ear is split in half like a like a snake so i'm like okay hold the phone is this going to be reality or is this going to be a dream and I think it's leaning more towards a dream because of the split tongue. Okay. We know she don't have a split tongue. But she has been dealing with some demonic stuff in season two that she's been fighting. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be real or if it's going to be a dream or whatever the case may be. Now, um, her mom and Leland are in this damn going cult and they are a hot mess. Okay. And I know they're going to pick up from that as well but let me tell you something david and Kristen, i have a feeling they're gonna they're gonna run up the charts with this they're gonna run this show up okay because it's about to get hot and steamy and then dealing with him being a priest dealing with her being married okay with her children her husband it's a lot going on it's a lot going on and guess what i am here for every nook and cranny of it because it's drama it's hauntings it's mysterious it's it's everything that you will want in a show that's called evil all right so but it's not a spooky show it's not scary it's not spooky all right for those of you who are afraid of horror movies and stuff like that it is not scary it is not spooky but it's very like mysterious okay it has drama all right it talks about um supernatural things going on okay that the church can't even explain 
you know, and then the Catholic Church is involved and stuff. So it's a lot going on, but it's very interesting. It's a very interesting show. And those of you who have not seen it, you have time to binge watch it on, um, I'm not sure if it's on, I think, no, it's not on Netflix, I don't think, but, um, Paramount, the show airs on Paramount, Paramount Plus. So if you want, you guys, season one and two to binge watch to catch up, you got to June 12th because that's when the new season kick in and I am here for it. So that's all I got about season three. I just want to let you guys know that it is coming. We have a date. It's going to premiere June 12th, 2022. And I'm here for it. Are you here for it? That's if you watch, if you're a fan of the show. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later and you guys have a great day.